Welcome back. It's a race created by a local veteran benefiting local wounded service members. The Devil Dog 5K attracts hundreds of people from around the area to help our heroes in need. CBS 12's Jeremy Farinas reports from the finish line in Boca Raton. What so proudly we in front of a large crowd at the second annual Devil Dog 5K, Army veteran Robert Flewellen saluted the American flag. Did, um one deployment to Iraq and one deployment to Afghanistan. After returning home 13 months ago with disabilities including PTSD, everything changed for Flewellen as he tried transitioning to civilian life. It's been hard. I've been through uh, four or five jobs. As a single father raising his six-year-old daughter, Flewellen had no choice but to seek help to avoid losing his home. That's when he met Michael Durkee, the executive director of Wounded Warriors of South Florida. Within, you know, 24 hours he helped me with with my landlord and kept a roof over our heads. We've helped over 7,500 uh, local veterans in the South Florida area. The nonprofit, which has no affiliation with the National Wounded Warriors Project, manages to assist local Pulse 9-11 veterans with financial help thanks to generous donations from the community. Today, the nonprofit received 90% of the proceeds from the Devil Dog 5K hosted by Evolution Fitness Foundation. It means a lot to me because I was fortunate enough to serve uh, four years actively in the United States Marine Corps, so it's great to be able to give back to local South Florida events. All while having a good time. <laughs> Nearly 1,000 people ran in support of our wounded warriors in South Florida. For Flu Ellen, it's a small gesture that makes a big difference. I don't think a lot of people know it goes straight to the veterans. Without wounded warriors, I wouldn't have a roof over my head. Yet Emmy Farina, CBS 12 News. The event raised nearly $13,000 for wounded warriors in our area.